Nick, restaurants have also struggled greatly during this pandemic, and many fear things will only get worse during the slow early months of 2021. But the return of one annual event could help get some through this difficult time. It's Restaurant Week in Kansas City, and 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts is sharing why it is so important to support these local eateries. There's always an effort to try to draw in business in some way, shape, or form, and what better way to do it than with Restaurant Week, especially when you only have a few restaurants that are going to offer breakfast, and that's never been done before. This comes at a time where eateries around the city are struggling because of COVID-19. There's never been a more important time to support your local restaurants than right now. Um, I don't think people have any idea um, what restaurants have gone through during the pandemic. Um, those that have been able to stay in business, you know, it's, it's been very difficult. According to a Forbes analysis, 2020 was supposed to be a booming year for the restaurant business, with industry sales predicted to rise by at least 4%. Instead, it was estimated by the end of 2020, 100,000 restaurants closed, and the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported 2.3 million jobs were lost. So now it's make or break time. Places like Etc. need customers to embrace an event like this because they want to stick around for years to come. Supporting local has never been more important to us um, and to everyone in the city, I think. Um, so definitely go local, try something new. In Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Thank you, Jordan. Many of the struggles restaurants have faced were brought on by restrictions put into place to protect us all from COVID-19. It's been a long road filled with twists and turns, as we all know, with those restrictions as they continue to change. Beginning in March on the 18th, restaurants and bars here in Kansas City were told to shut down their dining rooms, leaving them to run exclusively via pickup and delivery. Just days later, those restrictions were expanded to Jackson, Wyandotte, and Johnson counties. It wasn't until May 15th that reopenings began, allowing limited seating. Reopening continued until COVID-19 cases spiked once more, leading to new restrictions on November 20th. That is when restaurants and bars were told to close at 10 p.m. and have no more than 50% occupancy in the building. These restrictions will continue at least through January 16th. There is more than 100 restaurants participating in Restaurant Week. You can find all the details for each one on our website, kshb.com.